All right, we're going to talk about the logistics of this. All right, so this high flyer kind of skates on the glass, right? So this high flyer gets the corners, I think, better than its cousin. The, I should say this convertible gets the corners better than its, its cousin, the high flyer. This is more than just a high flyer. This is a wave, and this is a moplicator mop app with its own source of water, and it's a pure water tool and a separate squeegee. But you see how this differs from the high flyer? It is plastic, right? Now, if you're using this on route work, it still has the thin profile but it has a wider stance, which means you have less uh, time on that window scrubbing because this has more surface coverage, right? Problem with that is you're not going to use this on every job, and I'll tell you why. You see how wide that is? You will never get this behind a door handle. So you have to rethink what it is you're doing and why you're you why you, would you use this tool, all right? It's a well-rounded tool to, to do commercial glass, sheet glass, you know, and water fed all in one without having too many tools, separate tools, right? This is what we're, we're talking about. We're talking about being a minimalist by having a tool that'll do it all, all right? Or at least the capabilities of doing it all. Now, where this tool really has an advantage is on big, big sheet glass that you can just pass through, right? So let's give you an example. Guard railings that are made of glass. Perfect for that. The, if anyone ever had a wave, you'll know that this will do the same thing. Glass that has no frames. It's just uh, connected together with... Uh, rubber uh, mold moldings all right but you can pass through to the next window there's no frame involved that's where this comes in because under normal circumstances where most see a problem with this tool is because you can't scrub the frames but why would you need to scrub the frames if you have a tool that can eliminate that you shouldn't be, if, if the screams, if you're adding that part of your uh, service, that's different. But if you're there all the time, there's no need to scrub the frames. And you could use a tool like this. Why? Because you can move faster. With a brush, you always have to have your technique right because those frames will make the difference of you having to keep going back over your work. If you have a tool like this that doesn't wet the frames to begin with, and no matter how much technique you have, no matter how close you get, it's still not going to nasty the frames up to the point where you can potentially have nastiness bleeding back onto the window. All right. So there's a couple ways we can do this. We can use this as a regular water fed tool or we can use it in a traditional sense. You pour a line of soap on there and you can scrub the window, eliminating the time needed to scrub that heavy soiled window, right? You could go ahead and mop three windows ahead. Don't worry about it drying up. You know why? Because once you turn on the water, all that soap is just going to activate anyway, even if it dried up. So it's almost like re-scrubbing the window again, all right? You go back, you turn on the pure water. Once you see the soap start to dis disappear, then you know to add another line. But really, ultimately, if you mop a good portion of the windows in, you wouldn't have to add any more soap, depending on how big the job is, if that makes sense. Now, next I want to talk about the reason why this gets the corners better is because unlike the high flyer and any other channel, I don't care what channel you use it, you're not going to cut it flush to the end of the channel. Because on certain framework, it is not good to because the end of the channel will be scraping and riding, especially on wooden 
paint it framework. You can literally damage the framework pulling pieces of the paint off because you, you cut your rubber wrong. Same thing goes with vinyl siding. If you're using that and you cut that rubber so close, you will keep leaving marks in the vinyl around the framework. Some people may be seeing this or looking at that. So you don't want to you don't want to run into problems with that. With a plastic squeegee, however, you can come all the way to the end as you seen Willie has here, right? Hold on, let me sh All right, so as I was saying, with plastic squeegees, you see how it's all the way to the end? You couldn't do that with any other channel. You can do that with this is because it's plastic. It won't matter. It'll act like a buffer. It won't matter having that rubber so flush like that, right? This is the only channel that and the e squeegee that you can do that on. This is why it'll get the corners better because you're you're able to make your rubber meet the end of the channel and be able to clean without any resistance of metal scraping or any of that nonsense, all right? Now, some of the jets, like this one, some of the jets were water fetting the air. Now, I don't know what the cause of, of that is, but as you can see, it's on the very end, and this one is shooting. Hold on. You see, this one's shooting right up. Now, these holes weren't drilled properly, but it still works. You know, some people have a little OCD. I don't have OCD like that. Maybe washing my hands a gazillion times and, and using a whole bunch of sanitizer. I think we all a little OCD. You know, my hands is raw now. But uh, ultimately, I think when you buy this, I don't think the holes are going to be cockeyed like that. And if they are, just, I mean, so what? If you got OCD, then, then put a new line in there, drill the hole straight yourself. That's all. You know, it's no big deal. But the tool works. So let's go take a look. Let's walk around this whole building because I'm going to show you what I did in under 10 minutes, right? Now, granted, these windows weren't extremely bad, so I would have to really test the tool on a heavily soiled area. Wow. Okay. I see a few spots because I went too fast, apparently. But ultimately, this stuff looks clean, man. This did a good job. I think what happened, those ones that were water fetting the air was splashing up on the frames. You see, I got spots coming down here, but that's all right. I'll clean it up. But uh, ultimately, if you rinse the window, th I didn't have a whole lot of water, so I didn't want to spend a whole lot of time. I just, I did kind of fly through this, but maybe I went too fast. But uh, that's okay. Uh, if you're not worried about water, see, some of you may not buy your water. Some of you may produce your own water. Then then your, your problem will be solved. You won't have to worry about uh, drips and um, spots. You just take the time necessary to, uh, you know, rinse or scrub thoroughly. But for the most part, I'm satisfied. Tested and approved. I'm satisfied. Mac and Fracker. What you saying now? You suck.